Anthropologist Mary Ann Ohada and biologist Rob Nelson are continuing to uncover the impact of long-term radiation exposure on both humans and wildlife in Chernobyl's exclusion zone. Now they're investigating the Red Forest, one of the hottest radioactive zones on Earth. Oh, uh, that's not normal. That's a really old tree that isn't really decaying. Yeah, well, in fact, this is uh, one of the trees that died during the time of the explosion. This is part of the so-called red forest. Red forest because all the trees turn red after they died. Wow. And uh, as you can see, you know, 28 years later, plus it's, it's almost intact. You know, the wood's still all there. You kick it, it's hard. Strangely, the dead trees are not decomposing. And on the ground are countless years worth of leaves, all as crisp as when they first fell. You can see that it's pretty thick. It What's really going is. on here? Yeah, that's years of accumulated matter. The extreme radiation has wiped out even the organisms that cause decay. So if you haven't got the little critters, the bacteria, the fungus that's breaking down the stuff yep. on the forest floor, then effectively your whole ecosystem pyramid is, is going to fall apart, right? We, we think it has major impacts. But, you know, the, the, the bigger threat, we think, stems from the fact that you've got all this fuel on the ground for a potential forest fire. And this fuel <gasps> is different than regular fuel. Oh, my goodness, Tim. So it's not just a forest fire, it's a radioactive forest it, fire. It's a radioactive forest fire. That is terrifying, because if this sets on fire, all that radioactive material goes up into the air, 